hello guys this is Dias graphics and welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel please click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get notified anytime i release a new video so let's go straight to the tutorial today we are going to be doing the leap we are going to be drawing the leap from scratch from scratch from the sketch to the painting so i'm going to be using my hard pencil for the cycle so i select my cycle and i duplicate it i duplicate it i make it to just keep watching just look at how i'm going to create my leap from scratch So after using the cycles and the ships to to bring out the first stitch, then the second stitch will be outlining. So I'm going to use a new layer for the outlining. So we're going to sketch out the, the leap. So the cycles will just serve as a guide for us to, to bring out the leap. So sketching it out I'm still using my hard pencil to sketch it out on a new layer make sure it's on a, on a new layer make sure you're using a new layer for your sketch Just make sure it looks more like a leap and not like a boot. <laughs> Just make sure you try your best to see it comes out like a leap. It mustn't be, you mustn't draw it off head like how I am doing my own. So probably when you're using your reference, make sure you sketch it out well before painting. So we are done with the adjustment so we are going to be filling up the paint we're going to be filling up the paint so we're going to select our field paint our field brush as you can see the arrow is pointing to the brush then you fill up your sketch make sure you're on a new layer please make sure you're on a new layer make sure the, the, the new layer is under your sketch then you fill up your paint and fill it up filling it up you can readjust you can clean up some sides to make it look more like a lip so you can use your cleaner or your eraser to you can use your eraser to clean up some sides and shape it to make it look like a lip so after doing that you can create a new layer for your shadow Make sure you different 
also defend the upper lip and the lower lip. The upper lip should be darker than the lower lip. Just keep it in mind. Then you pick up, pick out your color, pick out your color, then make your color palette by yourself. And it mustn't be exactly this this particular color. You can make your color pink. You can make your colors um, red. You can choose any color you want for the lip. I'm just setting an example. And you can bring out the highlights, the base color, and the dark color and the dark shades. Anyone you want, you can just pick them out for fast use. And make sure you, after picking them out, make sure they are on, on a different layer. Make sure they are on a new layer and make it different. Don't mix it up with the shading layer. Then you can select your airbrush, your hard airbrush. Then choose a suitable size for your shading. Make sure it's on the new layer. Then start shading. You can adjust your size, the size of your brush. You can play around with it. Clean up the mess. Where it's more thicker, where you can just try and play around with your brush. Or make sure your, your, your following according to what you're seeing on the reference. Don't go contrary to what you're, you're seeing on the reference. So make sure your the first shading layer is on a new layer. Keep on shading. Make sure it brings out the shape of the mouth of the lip. We have selected the dark color and we are going to be applying it at the center to give it to make the other sides to pop out and to give it a lip a lippy look so just keep on doing exactly what i'm doing and you get good good results so just keep practicing keep watching and keep practicing make sure your dark layer your dark sheets is on the new layer just keep on looking at the layers and looking at the colors So after applying the the shades, the dark shades, we are going to be adding another dark shade. That's the real dark color. Just select the dark color for the, the middle of the lip. Make sure it's completely dark and make sure it's on a different layer. Make sure it's on a new layer at the top of the recent layer. So make sure it's at the top of the, the dark layer. So make sure you select the black color then you reduce the opacity then you apply it then you shade it make sure the size of your brush is, is small make sure it's tiny then you apply it to the center then you just follow exactly what I'm doing
and also um i don't i don't usually use blend mode for my lip just in case you are trying to ask whether i'm going to use blend mode or i do use blend mode sometimes i do use it depends on how the lip is if it's if the lip you are drawing is a a glowy or what will i say a wet lip if it's a wet lip that comes comprises of lip glows and shiny stops on on it you would have to use a blend mode probably you're going to use soft glow or a glow blending mode so as to give it a shiny look but for this tutorial and for this particular lip i'm not going to be using any blend mode. i'm not going to be using any blending mode so we are going to be using our strictly our colors for the blending and everything so there is not going to be any shiny shiny stuff here i'm just going to give it a little bit detail and that's all just make sure you're on a new layer when applying a lighter color sure you just make sure when you're applying a new color make sure it's on a new layer don't forget make sure it's on a new layer every color every color you apply has its own layer to avoid mistake and it will help you to easily erase any mistake so you give it the details start giving it details start giving it details start giving it details just be dragging it exactly how i do so now we're going to be using the dark color to give it the detail Make sure you go back to the layer of the dark color and then start giving it details and make it look a little bit semi-realistic. So guys, I'm going to be using the multiply blend mode, only the multiply blend mode for the dark shade layer. So as you can see, it's not, I'm, I'm only using the multiply blending mode for the dark shade layer, both of the dark shade layer, so as to give it the in-depth of the darkness, and that's all. Apart from that, I don't use the blend, any blend mode for the lid. So I'm not going to be using any blend mode for the highlights and for the white colors and, and all those stuff.
so as you can see we are done we are done with the lip we are done with the lip you can just adjust the whitish colors and all those whitish details on it and we are done so what i'm going to do is that we're going to select the skin color so as to see how the lip is going to look like on a human skin like on the face of, of your character or the person the reference you're going to be drawing so i'm going to do a fast painting of the face the remaining half of the face so as to see how the lip is going to blend in the, the face so let's just see how it's going to turn up so as you can see i'm just doing a fast painting a off, off head painting without any reference so i'm just going to try to see how it's going to come out so as you can see it's coming out well our lip is blending in with the the rest of the shading on everything so as you can see our lip is blending in so i think we're done with the tutorial thanks for watching guys god bless you all and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't so i'll see you in the next video just keep on watching and comment you can ask me any question on the comment box then i'll answer every one of you thank you so much bye bye